three, two, three, two, one, one time. Okay, it's the morning of the wedding. Hi everyone. Um, it's six in the morning. I am tired and I look like this, so I'm sorry. Um, I'm about to do my grandma's hair and Crystal's makeup for the wedding. So, yeah. Um, I'll just vlog. <laughs> it's six in the morning mm -hmm. and Nana's ready to get her hair done. <laughs> <laughs> and Crystal's hiding because she got this really hot outfit on. I got it from my daughter. <laughs> hungry. And it begins. Ayla? <laughs> and there's mom getting ready. We are on our way to the wedding. I'm riding with Jordan. Well, he's riding with me technically. And, um, yeah, we're all running late, so that's good. <laughs> and we're waiting. How do you feel today? Like a million dollars. He's all dressed up. <laughs> hey, Nana, how do you feel today? <laughs> Mom, how do you feel today? Lovely. <laughs> Now we're just waiting um, for everyone to get dressed. Everyone's kind of late right now, so so this is the I guess dining room you can say, and then this is Brandon and his girlfriend. I guess <laughs> this is my girlfriend. Oh wait, yeah, I do that. Mm -hmm. This is my girlfriend. Her name's Astrid. Hi. That's Kayla. Hi. So the tables are really set up nice. Oh, never mind. Oh, they had names on them. They have little mints. Flower set up. It's just really nice. Can't wait to eat. Oh. Hi beautiful. Oh, really? Hi. Like that. Hi beautiful. What are you doing? You don't want to smile from Oh yeah. Who gives this woman to be wed? Welcome everybody. Today's a special day for Justin and Crystal and we're glad that y'all are going to be part of it. You know, matrimony is a gift from God and only from God. See, God created the first marriage in the Garden of Eden with Adam and Eve 
And today we get to partake in the celebration of Justin and Crystal's uh, unity and matrimony. I'm glad y'all are here. Thank y'all for being here. Thank you for being here on a Saturday morning. Amen? Amen. Anybody eat any Frosted Flakes? <laughs> Fruit Loops, anything? <laughs> Donuts? I'm glad y'all are here. Let's pray. Father God in heaven, thank you for this day, God. Father, we just... Hey, Amen. I'm going to give them a round of applause. They look good. Amen. Today is their special day. It's their day. And we got to... And I'm glad that y'all took time to be here for them. But in Ephesians 5.22, the Bible says, Husbands, love your wife as Christ loved the church. And then it goes on and says, Wives, honor your husbands. What does that mean? I share this at every wedding, this scripture, because it's so important for me. That Christ was the ultimate sacrifice for you and I. We are the bride. If, if you study the word of God, it says that we are the bride and he is the bridegroom, Jesus Christ. And he's coming back one day because the Bible says in Revelation that he's coming back. And we need to be ready for his return. And as the church, the bride of Christ, we wait for our bridegroom. So it's just his responsibility as a husband to protect his wife as Christ loves the church. He is to serve her, to nourish her, to build her up, to encourage her every day. It is up to Crystal to build up Justin and to encourage him. When he has a bad day at work, it's up to Crystal to notice that and encourage him and build him up. You know, and, and, and the first marriage, as I said, in the Garden of Eden, that was a, a, an awesome, awesome creation. You see, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and the earth was formless and void, and the Spirit of the Lord hovered over the depths of the sea. Then he created man, and he said, let us create man in our own image. So he created Adam out of the dirt, out of the dust. He created Adam. And then he created all the beasts, all the fowl of the air, all the creatures of the sea. And then he said, for Adam, there's not a suitable helper, so let me make woman. So he caused Adam to go into a deep sleep, and he pulled the rib out of Adam and created a woman. Isn't that awesome? That's the first surgery that ever took place. Have you thought about that? First surgery before you get married. So you know what you're getting into. You see, a marriage takes 20 minutes to officiate. The matrimony and ceremony is 20 minutes, but a marriage should be a lifetime. It should be a lifetime. It's not just something you take for granted. It should be a lifetime. And I'm going to tell you guys again what I told you all the other day. I'm happy for you. I'm glad that you come and make it right. Because without you not being married, we couldn't dedicate the baby to the Lord. So you're doing what's right in the eyes of God. You see, so many times we want to please people. And we forget about pleasing God. The Bible says you serve people, but you please God. Amen? So we should be God pleasers and people servers. Very important. Okay? As you go through this marriage, times are going to be rough. I I'm going to tell you right now, the struggle is real. All right? There are going to be times you can't afford a light bill, a water bill, groceries, gas. You want to know how I know? Because I used to plug in an extension cord in my neighbor's house in order to have power in our house. I used to carry water in five-gallon buckets in order to have water in our house. So you see, but God, once you put God first, he will lead, guide, and direct every step that you take. Justin, it's your responsibility as a husband and as a father to nourish your wife and to nourish your daughter. It's your responsibility. Crystal, it's your obligation and responsibility to honor your husband, to respect your husband. I'm going to read a scripture to you. I know it by memory, but I'm going to read it out of you, out for you. And it's in the book of Proverbs. Proverbs 14.1. Many people don't, don't take this very seriously, but I take the word of God very seriously. Proverbs 14.1, it says this. And I'm going to tell you this, Crystal, okay? This is what it says. The wise woman builds her house, but with her own hands, the foolish one tears her own house down. That means you build your husband up. You take care of your home. You take care of your responsibility. You build him up. Justin, your responsibility to nourish your wife. You need to take her to church. You don't need to put the covenant of God over your marriage. Because uh, with God, all things are possible. You see, Kaylee said amen. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? With God, all things are possible. 
not some things. All things are possible with God. So build your marriage on the solid rock of Jesus Christ, and you'll never go wrong. Like I shared with you, attend church. Just make sure that they bring one of these. Because it doesn't matter what I know, but it matter who I know. And if they're preaching from the Word of God, that's the infallible truth. There's no error in the Word of God. So build your marriage on the Word of God. Very important, okay? Are y'all excited? Are y'all nervous? Don't be nervous. Don't be nervous. Don't be nervous. We're going to save the kissing part for later, okay? <laughs> <clears throat> to you, Justin, take Crystal, whom you hold by the hand, to be your true and lawful wife, to love and share her, in joy and pain, in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others to cleave only to her, so as long as you both shall live. Crystal, do you take Justin, whom you hold by the hand, to be your lawful and true husband, to love, honor, Obey and cherish him, and joy or in pain, in sickness or in health, and forsaking all others to cleave only to him as long as both shall be. Amen. Amen. I want to read some more stuff for you, okay? I also want to tell you guys that when Shelly and I, and this is special to me to marry this young couple, because Shelly and I, she was 18 and I was 21. Okay, and we didn't know who to turn to. We wanted to get married so bad, but we didn't know who to turn to. You see, I was unchurched. I didn't know what church was. I didn't know who God was. I didn't know anything like that. Shelly was raised in the church, and she knew, but I didn't. And I just wanted to go get married, have babies, and go live in heaven, right? So we finally found this lady. Her name was uh, Susie Pope from Louise, Texas. And, I, and Shelly and I said, hey, how do you... Do a wedding. And it was so special because it's just like Crystal, her parents aren't here today. I don't think I'll notice that. For Shelly, her parents weren't there either. And, and her uncle gave her away and he left. And Shelly was there by herself without any, without no family representation. And, and Crystal, I just want to tell you that Jesus loves you more than anything. And we're your family, and we're here for you. But a marriage that wasn't supposed to last. April the 2nd will be our 27th anniversary, only through the grace of God, only through the grace of God. And we have grown so much together. We raised each other, because Shelly didn't know how to cook it, neither did I. So it's pretty bad some days. The eggs were like, they taste good, mm? <laughs> They're okay. But I want to tell you guys that under the eyes of God, y'all are beautiful. Y'all are beautiful. I want to tell you that this morning, when, when y'all when said I do, you're now husband and wife. Isn't that awesome? Mrs. Justin Ray Gonzalez. <laughs> huh? Isn't that cool? Are you ready to light your unity candle? All right, let's go light your unity candle. Here's the significance of the lighting of the unity candle. Justin and Crystal, you have just sealed your relationship as husband and wife by the pledges and vows taken. You will now commemorate your marriage through the unity candle. 
Jesus commands us to be the salt and the light of this earth. Light is the essence of our existence. Each one of us possess an inner glow that represents our hopes, our dreams, and aspirations in life. The two distinct candle flames represent two separate lives, which is pretty awesome. Now, please take the candle symbolizing your life as individuals and light the center light candle. As this new flame burns undivided, so shall your lives now be from one. From now on, your thoughts will always be for each other, rather than just as individual candles. Your plans will be mutual, your joys and sorrows will be shared alike. Although you are now entering into a marriage relationship, the joining of two families, you do not, however, lose your own personal identity. Rather, you will use your spiritual and, spiritual and special individuality to create and strengthen your marriage stronger than ever before. Two families coming into one. So I want to thank you all for coming as a husband and a wife. Can someone please bring the baby up here? You can't kiss her yet. <laughs> This is a very special moment because they asked when they got married if we could dedicate the baby. We're going to dedicate the baby. Now we can dedicate the baby a little bit. And uh, the awesome thing about this is that the only way to dedicate a baby is that you've got to be married. That's what the Bible says. They're now officially married, even though he hasn't kissed her. But he will in a minute. And they practiced that last night as well. <laughs> Justin, will you please hold your baby? You'll hold the baby together, guys. Our responsibility, first and foremost, is to be right with God, Justin and Crystal. These are the first responsibility. The Bible says to love the Lord thy God with all your soul, with all your strength, with all your mind. And then it says love your neighbor as yourself. And the only way that we can dedicate the baby was for you to be married. You are officially married right now. It is your responsibility, Justin, as a father, is to sing praises to the Lord, to pray to the Lord every day, to ask for forgiveness of your sins, of your transgressions, your inequities, and to nourish Crystal. Crystal, your responsibility is to nourish the baby, okay? That's by training her up at home. The Bible says our responsibility is to be the trainers of our children. Train them while we, when we are sitting down. Train them while we are walking. Train them when we are laying down. Train them when the Word of God is in your hands. Train them with the Word of God before their eyes on a regular ba basis. And train them with the Word of God written on items of our homes. It's our responsibility to keep the Lord before our children always. As you walk, remember this, that your baby's going to be a sponge. She's going to be doing everything you do. All the words you say. Uh-oh. All the words you say. Uh oh, she, she already heard a bad word. Okay. <laughs> when a baby hears a word, they keep it in their mind and they repeat it. So, if she want, what, is, what would she like? Okay. Our pacifier? She wants my husband. Okay, there you go. There you go. Okay, that's what she wanted. Amen. So, if everybody will please stand and let's dedicate this baby to the Lord. Our most gracious Heavenly Father, we come to you today, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. Justin Ray Gonzalez and family. <laughs> Amen. All right, so. Want me to hold you got it? I'm <laughs> Let's give them a round of applause again. Amen. 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 All right, just one more kiss back there, just for fun. Amen. Oh, dear. <laughs> hey, guys, don't congratulate me.
the bride and the groom, and uh, I won the door prize. Look what I won. <laughs> Amen. Hey, uh, there's going to be a meal after this, immediately after the, the wedding. So, Shelby, if you will lower the music, let's bow and let's ask a blessing upon the couple and the meal. Our most gracious Heavenly Father, again, we just want to thank you for this day, God. Thank you for making this day special for Justin and Crystal, God. Father, we just want to thank you for everything, God. Father, just we dedicate the marriage, we dedicate the baby to you, Father God. And God, we just want to pray for the meal that's that's about to be received, Father, may it be uh, used for nourishment and the edifying of our bodies, God. And Father God, let us bring you everything we have every day, God. May you be glorified in everything we say and everything we do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Yay, they're married. Now we can eat. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's a habit of recording. I'm gonna put this one. Is this where they're sitting? I'm not sure where they're I mean that would make sense if they were sitting right there. Cause I'm gonna leave it right there so we'll just get it when they get back. Okay. I gave up soda for Lent, so that cannot be here. What is that punch? That drink in my cup. You wish. And here's their wedding cake. So good. Where my car keys at? been a walking heartache I've made a mess of me The person that I've been lately Ain't who I want to be But you stay here right beside me And watch as the storm blows through And I need you Cause God gave me you for the ups and downs God gave me you for the up 
ups and downs God gave me you for the days of doubt God gave me you for the ups and downs God gave me you for the days of doubt And for when I think I lost my way There are no words here left to say it's true God gave me you Gave me you He gave me you Watch your all-time high, you good as it gets Your hands down best ever make up sex Watch your guilty pleasure, your old go-to Well, if you asked me, mine would be you Watch your worst hangover, your best night yet yeah. Ninety proof, your Marlboro red. The best damn thing you lucked into. Well, that's easy, girl. Mine would be you. Mine would be you. Sun kiss shining, back road flying, singing like crazy fools, making up our own words, laughing till it hurts. Baby, if I had to choose my best day ever, my finest hour, my wildest dream come true. Mine would be you. Watch your double dare, you go all in. The craziest thing. You ever did Plain as your name In this tattoo Look on my arm Mine would be you Mine would be you Sun kiss shining Back road flying Singing like crazy fools Making up our own words Laughing till it hurts Baby if I had to choose my best day ever The finest hour, my wildest dream come true chapter in your book Are there pages where it hurts to look What's the one regret you can't work through Are we trying to get a good angle? You got it baby Mine would be you Yeah you got it baby Mine would be you Mine would be you Daylight breaking, standing there like a fool And I should have been running, yelling out something To make you want to hold on to the best love ever Girl, can you tell me the one thing you'd rather die than lose Cause mine would be Mine would be you. 
enjoying the food. Is the food good, Wayne? Mom. No, Mija. There's a no. See. <laughs> See. Sí. Muy bueno. Mucho delicioso. Y'all are funny. <laughs> Something small Take what you need And we disappear Without a trace We'll be gone, gone The moon and the stars Will follow the car And then when we get to the ocean We're gonna take a boat To the end of the world all the way to the end of the world Oh, and when the kids are old enough We're gonna teach them to Tied to the ground, not falling but rising like rolling around. Eyes closed above the rooftops. Eyes closed, we're gonna spin through the stars. Our arms wide as the sky, we go ride the blue all the way to the end of the world. Just get the one. <laughs> <laughs> 
get that. <laughs> you like the water. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, okay. You were the card and you keep the money. She took it. It's from uh, Oh, this is from. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't have trouble doing that out there. That's gonna fall out of there. From daddy. Yeah. Okay, in here. And the wedding is done with. So now it's time to relax. Thank y'all for watching.